In this video, sponsored by Envato Elements, I'm gonna be going through the best portfolios on Behance for graphic design. I love doing these types of videos, not because I just get to sit here and look at amazing work, but because I learn a lot as well. As designers, we can sort of have tunnel vision into what we should and shouldn't do, and we just focus on one thing too much that we forget that there is so many other ideas out there. So I'm gonna go have a look get some inspiration. Let me know your thoughts and your favorite down in the comments below. And as always, the links to these are in the description for you to go and check them out. Okay, so graphic design, the best work. What I'll probably do first of all is go into branding. That's my sort of realm that I love. And let's look at the first one. Okay, so bookstore brand. Again, first of all, you are greeted with an amazing flat lay image of all the stationery. I love that. If it's possible in your design portfolio to show real work, like the actual printed version, always do that. Take the pictures that look the best with the real work. I love the colors around it. You know, you've got that wood vibe, rustic, but also elegant. And the logo looks, I mean, I, obviously I think that's Slovakian or some sort of Eastern language, but it looks amazing so far. I love the fact that there's a horse inside of the logo. It looks super clean, super clean. The logo, there's nothing special about this at all. It's all to do with the stuff around it and how it's all formed. It's all to do with the branding, to do with the colors that they've used and the consistency throughout. It looks really nice and minimal. And there's so many images of them. That's so cool. This next one looks kind of similar and it was featured as well. Omini Concept Boutique. Okay, so that's that looks sort of Celtic to me. Oh, this is really cool. I love the edginess of it. That is really nice. Not much I can say about this other than it fits super nicely. You think it's gonna be a clean design, like the logo is gonna be super clean, but you can see there, it's not actually that clean but it works really well. Again, a perfect example of best use case scenarios. Ooh, this one's taken my eye here. So I'm guessing this is the coffee. It, it is a coffee. First of all, love the design. It's like the coffee version of Monster, really clean and nice. The red, I'm not too sure what that signifies, but it's cool. Malasana is a 100% pure speciality coffee brand of the best quality, which comes loaded with attitude, music, and urban art, accompanied by different playlists and Spotify and stickers from various urban artists. That is super cool. I love it how it's been stamped on as well. It gives it that extra vibe. You can see there they've actually stamped this onto the packaging. It was very unique, very simple. And the way that they got this logo to look so nice is not just by the design, but everything else surrounding it. It's sort of selling the idea of the brand itself. That red is such a stark contrast and I like that. I've not seen that in a while. It's going for a very select market. Let's look at more general graphic design and see what happens here. This one looks interesting. This is a brochure that is so clever. That looks so different to what I would ever expect. You can see the writings on the inside. I don't know if these are real or they're mock-ups. One thing that you're noticing out of every amazing design portfolio, especially ones that are featured on Behance, by Adobe on Behance, is that they have great mock-ups or great imagery, not just a great logo. So let's look at the Logitech one here. So the Logitech MX keys. Oh, got one of those here. Mini gift kit design project. Okay. Love the fact that it's really minimal. Love the box. Less plastic there. I like it. We've got MX mini keys mini. Oh, they've got a mini version. I need to get one of those. You see here, everything is accompanied by the real use case scenario. So it's actually, you know, these little calendar bits little checklists. All of these images make the design just look even better. It's not good enough anymore just to have these designs in there. Let's have a look at this one. OCO or OCIO brand cards, brand strategy. Okay, creating meaningful brands for businesses of the future. Let's have a look. It's difficult to design anything for a user or a client that you don't understand. To facilitate the process of understanding is why we run an initial brand strategy workshop, similar to what we do. These brand cards were born to assist throughout this process while conducting the workshop. The aim is to transform an abstract idea of the brand into something solid. This is super clever, look at that. It looks like Cards Against Humanity, that's my only thing, because they've used Helvetica. Yeah, very cool, I love all that, that's really nice. This one's caught my eye. This is just like anti-design, like. <laughs> <laughs> completely. I love this, this part that's distorted. Again, this looks real to me. I love these images, very monochromatic, black and white. Complete anti-design. People love this. It's more of a trend now. 
but people use it to be slightly edgy, but I really do like it. It works really well. Not too sure what it's supposed to be for. I think it's just like more artsy than anything, but you can see it looks, it looks cool. One thing you've noticed out of each one of these projects on your portfolio is not only that the work is extremely good, it's amazing, but that they're using assets to help sell the work. If this cover was just a cover as a JPEG on Behance, it's not gonna work as well as showing the content and everything else around it, like these bits of paper, playing around with this transparent distorted part, using mock-ups, using the colors and flat laying everything out. Now, if you're like most designers and you don't have access to you know, a studio where you can like take photographs of finished client work, then mock-ups are amazing resources for you. And Invata Elements is sponsoring this video to let you know that they have over 50 million assets for you on their platform. And if you click the link down below and you choose the annual option, it's less than $20 a month for 50 million assets. We use Invato Elements for our client projects because it's simple. We can find a mock-up of nearly anything that we need. If we can think it, it's normally on there. And we use them to sell our logo designs to the client, also to bridge that gap between reality and fantasy. And if you're worried about the licensing, don't be, because they have a really simple license. So that means that when you download it, when you've got the subscription, and maybe you don't want the subscription anymore, you still have the license and the rights to use it. So if you'd like that and you would like to see more, go and check the link down below. Invato Elements is really good. Go check them out, worth your time and money. This one here looks really cool. It's just the yellow, the sort of neon yellow on everything. $1 icons, Como Studio. Okay, so accessible icons for all. $1 icons was created to give designers, developers, students, marketers, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, quality, affordable icons. Nice, okay. First of all, love the logo. Looks great. You got the really minimal $1 in there. I love the way that you're showing this. You see, there's even mock-ups on this. You see? Oh, they're real. They might be actually real. The most likely are. We see you've got the actual content here. We can see how you've done it. So you've shown the differences between you and other icon makers. It looks amazing. You're selling this idea super well. I love those colors. That green, that's similar to our brand color. Well, the the tertiary color that we use. Let's find something absolutely crazy. Blue is the new black. That looks different. Oh, the type conference. That's cool. Why am I not there? I love this typography, check that. It's got that haze to it. Don't know how they've done that. That's a really cool effect. It gives it that depth, that 3D depth. What's this one, the petal? Oh, that reminds me so much of Meta. Not in a nasty way, and it's still, maybe I've missed out on the chance of making a video on that. If you wanna hear about me talk about Meta, the new logo for Facebook, let me know. Petal, a new kind of credit card company determined to take credit into the future. It is designed to help people build credit and spend responsibly. Okay, I love the design of the actual card, the Visa, it's actually portrait, that's cool. Check the mockups out, guys. See what I'm saying? Even this, that's cool as well. Everything looks amazing. So there you have it. Those are the portfolios that we're looking today. Hopefully they inspired you as well. They inspire me every time I look on them. Let me know what you think. Which one was your favorite? Which one would you go back to? Remember the links to all these portfolios are in the description. Don't forget to go and check out Invata Elements. Honestly, you won't be mad. You'll be quite pleasantly surprised at what you get over there. If you enjoyed the video, again, subscribe. It's completely free and I post all the time, literally about twice a week, every week, no matter what. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.